good morning-ish. It is March 26th, Sunday, 2017. I'm taking a brief walk around my yard because I can't find my headphones and I'm pretty sure my, my wiener dog has taken them somewhere to destroy them. It's kind of a thing that he does. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be heading out today to Fort Wayne because my wife is a consultant for 31 Bags and she has a friend in Fort Wayne who's going to host a party. And me and the kids are going to go and try to do something fun. My headphones are not out here. Just the wasteland. With the drive and shine where I'm about to use uh, a saver coupon to save $10 on my oil change. The card. I wasn't showing the card. This, the coupon's just stuck to the card. And we're all just waiting patiently to begin our road trip to Fort Wayne. That's the phone. The phone at the oil change place. But they're not answering. You don't know what they're doing. There are people working here you can't see. There it goes again. Maybe you're right, Adelia. Maybe no one is answering the phone. Every road trip begins at Speedway and Pump 2, if I'm lucky. Today I'm trying the White Label Mountain Dew, which is not diet, but all the cool flavors don't come in diet. It's a whitish pinkish color. White Label is crafted with tropical citrus. So it kind of tastes like grapefruit juice. Hmm. We'll see about that. I like the driveway accessible trash can that is nowhere a car can drive up to it. Atta boy, Duncan. It's okay. This is a cold brew. The sweet and salty cold brew which is delicious not as sweet as i would imagine but that's fine and the whipped cream is salty which is very strange but i like it <laughs> that's fine there's only one way to get out of here because the drive through i think is only one lane so i'm having to fight but i just wanted to show this cool bus stop and this like European looking shopping center behind it. It's super fancy. I don't know why. It also looks half abandoned. You can't do that or you're out of the game. And they've got two of those bus things like maybe you would need to be shuttled. For some reason. We made it to the yeah. <clears throat> we made it to the Science Central and the first exhibit we're going to see is How Not to Park. I, it's one of my favorite exhibits. It gets me all fired up. Science Central. The boy says he doesn't remember it.
Centro used to be a power plant and they've left a bunch of the old pipes and stuff in here because it's fun to look at. But what? Steps are science. There's a giant crane above the entire place, still intact. Don't believe it's operational with a cage and a ladder that goes up to the cage. Interesting stuff. Stuck my kids inside a tornado machine. You can't get out. Oh no, I guess I'll just have to leave you here. What? What? Wait, why wasn't it? I don't know. So as this was uh, a trip to Fort Wayne, I don't normally come to Fort Wayne, and I saw this in my travels. I wanted to share it with you. It is of course raining. And there's just this neat little path that goes under this bridge. And I know, I don't know, bridges, paths under bridges. It's just not something that I normally am exposed to because I don't normally leave my house or my hometown, which does have a few of these, which I should probably go check out. And I just thought, I'm not gonna be back here. I might as well check it out. And there's an echo! Echoes are always amazing. And so the slippery when wet sign is because this part of the thing is glossy. <laughs> and so when it's wet, it's slippery. You can hear the cars going over the road above me. Clonk, clonk, clonk. And there's my family patiently waiting in the car for me. Here at one end of Johnny Appleseed Park, where there's this tunnel. That if it weren't raining, I probably would have sent my children through. In a new segment I call, Paul sends his children through dark and scary places. It was not meant for today. So the long awaited Baja Blast home experiment is here. And I apologize for the terrible lighting in my kitchen. It is two thirds Mountain Dew. To one third Powerade Blue. Which that did not quite do it. I wonder if the ratio is backwards. Because <clears throat> that is not the same color. Because as it happens, the Colonel has provided me with some Baja, some Baja Blast, and these, these two greens are not the same. But let's see, uh, let's see about the taste. Wow.
Now the one I bought from Taco Bell KFC is not diet and this Powerade Zero and Diet Mountain Dew is calorie free. <clears throat> uh, what I made doesn't taste too different than that, but I think the artificial sweeteners make it taste like cotton candy to me for some reason. But then again, I'm not like known for my palate. Right, that's for tea. Okay, attempt number two, we're gonna do two thirds blue. And one third Mountain Dew. Now, I would say the colors are fairly close. Fairly close. And the taste? Yeah, that's the same. Wow. So the other way around cotton candy, this way, Baja Blast. This is really kind of a life changer for me. In other news, I'm a little worried that Diet Mountain Dew is called a low calorie dew when the nutritional information on the side panel says zero calories and this says zero calories. I feel like there is some kind of decimal point nonsense where we're being bamboozled. Not that it matters because everything's imaginary. That's uh, <clears throat> my new stance. Everything's imaginary. A monsoon in the wasteland while the sun is shining. <clears throat> what you gonna do?